We're starting things off with a look at our tram cam where we've had some thin clouds passing over the view of the camera at least, but otherwise lots of blue sky out there and plenty of more sunshine to come our way as we continue into the next couple of days. Taking a look at your current temperatures, we kept it in the mid to upper 70s as we head into these evening hours, low 80s if you're in the East Valley and all of us are prepping for a big warm up. Let's talk about your peak at next week. Well, I expect things to be a little bit breezy for both tonight and tomorrow. After that point, the big focus becomes the 10 to 15 degree above normal jump that we're expected to see in our temperatures and that could mean the first triple digits of 2022. Now there's still a little bit of discrepancy as to whether or not we'll hit it or if we'll even hit it over the course of several days but it's certainly possible and I do anticipate that we will be seeing that for at least a few cities as we prep for this trough of low pressure to move off farther to the east and this ridge of high pressure to build in in its place. That ridge of high pressure bringing us that warmer drier air that will continue to bring up those temperatures into those mid to upper 90s and then possibly even to the triple digits. Let's go ahead and take a look at how temperatures are shaping up just for tomorrow though. Low 90s expected for daytime highs. This won't be too too uh, I guess too too warm if you will. It should be right on track with what most people can typically expect to see for this time of year though it is considered above normal. Normal temperatures are down in the low to mid 80s so only a couple degrees warmer than maybe where we should be and winds will help us cool off a little bit. By tonight we could see gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour stretching from Whitewater through Desert Hot Springs and into Thousand Palms. That means some of that wind will continue to push off farther to the East Valley during the evening hours. We'll wake up still a little breezy for a few of those spots, but generally speaking, most of the valley and areas south of I-10 won't be dealing with too much wind. Same goes as we head into your Monday evening, so just something to be aware of that will be a little bit breezy as we head into the evening hours for the next couple of days. But again, after that point, it becomes all about the warm up. Temperatures warming to the mid to upper 90s for your Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, but 97, 98 that is not a far cry from the triple digits. So it is certainly possible we could see that. I do expect by the end of the work week, we certainly will. So a lot to talk about with this big warm up coming our way.